Hi there. Thanks for watching our new video series of deploying production ML models with TensorFlow Serving. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In this video series, we're going to take a deep dive into TensorFlow Serving and go beyond the simple paradigm of starting a TF-Serving Docker image and then running inferences. We will talk about how to customize TF-Serving, how to tune the performance, how to do A-B testing and monitoring, and so much more. If you want to learn more about deploying production ML models, you are in the right place. Suppose you have come up with a brilliant ML model that achieves a new state of the art. Now you want to deploy it into production to solve your business problems. What do you do? As you may know, a production ML system requires so much more than just a model. It requires a comprehensive set of tools, including configuration, data collection and verification, machine resource management, feature extraction, process management, serving structure, monitoring, and etc. Too many people surprise. ML code is just one tiny piece in the entire system. There are many, many aspects in any production ML system. In this video series, we are going to focus only on the serving infrastructure part, which is a critical part in ML ops. So what is serving anyway? Let's say you have a model developed by a research scientist. You're ready to feed production data to it and make business decisions based on the output of your model. In essence, you have a client app, which could be your website or your mobile apps. They send client requests with input data to your server. Your server accepts the data, optionally does some pre-processing, runs inferences on your machine learning model to produce an output optionally post the process the output, and lastly, sends the result back to your client app. The part where your server runs inferences is called serving. And TensorFlow Serving is an inference framework that helps you serve your production ML models with low latency and high throughput. TensorFlow Serving makes it easy to deploy new algorithms and experiments while keeping the same server architecture and APIs. With TensorFlow Serving, you can run multiple models in a single process, or you can run multiple versions of a model loaded over time. It can support both REST and gRPC and has out-of-the-box support for GPU. TensorFlow Serving also seamlessly works with Docker and Kubernetes to scale with demand. TF Serving is also part of TensorFlow Extended, which is a full suite of TensorFlow components to tackle the entire machine learning pipeline. Now let's take a quick look at the overall architecture of TF Serving. At a high level, TensorFlow Save the Model is a kind of serverable managed by the loader. Inside TF Serving Core, the dynamic manager determines when the loader should load the serverable, in which case, the serverable handle will be used to perform predictions based on incoming requests from the client. You don't necessarily need to understand all the internal details to use TF Serving effectively. But this will be useful if you want to create a new serverable to serve non-TensorFlow models, which we will discuss in a future episode. So how do we actually use TF Serving? The general workflow consists of four steps. You train your model with TensorFlow, export your model using saved model format. Then you can start a TF Serving model server. And lastly, you make requests to the serving server via REST or gRPC. Let's see it in action. You can use model.feed method to train your model. Once your training is done, you can use model.save method to export the model as a saved model. Next step is to download the TF Serving image by using Docker pool. We also clone the TF Serving repository so that we can use a sample saved model for demonstration. Now we can start the TF Serving server by running Docker run. We are using a simple model half plus two, which halves the input and then adds two. Once the model server is started, we can query the model result by sending a post request to TF Serving. We use curl to fit the input of one, two, and five to the model. And we get 2.5, three, and 4.5 as a return. So that's it we have successfully deployed and run our first model using TensorFlow Serving. Another way to do this is to directly use TensorFlow Model Server without Docker. You can install the TensorFlow Model Server binary via apt-get 
and start it directly. Then you can send a re post request to it like we did before. If you have a computer-intensive model to serve, you may want to use accelerators like GPU. All you need to do is to use a GPU Docker image and the GPU version of your saved model. And TensorFlow Serving will then use GPU to run inference for better performance. One more tip before we wrap up today. If you have trouble sending requests to TensorFlow Serving, you can turn on verbose logging to see the specific error for each incoming request. You just need to set tfcpp vmodule environment variable when you start Docker, and TF Serving will be showing the errors for each troubling request. Here it shows my input dimensions are wrong, so I can go back and change my request. This is very helpful for debugging your code. So to summarize, deploying machine learning models into production is a very important matter, and TF Serving is a high-performance serving infrastructure that makes it easy for you. We have given you a quick walkthrough of using TF Serving. If you want to learn more about TF Serving at a high level, please check out these links. In our next episode, we're going to learn how to send requests to TF Serving using Python and C++. Thank you. Thank you.